Welcome to the course Pixlr Power. How to use the Pixlr online photo editor to create and edit photos and images. My name is Michelle Berner and I'm a teacher of information technology and computer networking and I will be your instructor for this course. Pixlr isn't Photoshop but for a tool that works entirely within your browser it replicates a remarkable percentage of Photoshop's most important image editing tools. You don't need to buy any software. All you need is a computer, the internet, and a browser. You launch Pixlr directly from the website, and as long as you have the Flash plugin installed on your computer, all is well. Pixlr is free to use, with an impressive feature set for an online image editor. It supports many of the most common features found in regular software editors. Layers, shapes, airbrushes, custom brushes, crop and resize, rotate and convert, scaling, gradients, filters on top of that. There are also mobile apps for both iOS and Android. The Pixlr Power course will cover each of Pixlr's tools with a video demonstrating that tool and in most cases concluding with an edited or composite image that demonstrated that tool. The course will cover the following areas. Section 1 is an exploration of the Pixlr menus, tools, and the user interface. Section two, how to make adjustments to an image. And this section covers resizing, cropping, rotating images, using menu options like color balance and curves and levels, reduction to layers in Pixlr, and also how to use layers and layer masks. In section three, we'll look at Pixlr's selection tools. So how to use the lasso tool, the marquee magic wand selection tools. To edit your images. Section 4 explores Pixlr's editing tools, in particular the pencil, the paint bucket, the clone stamp, the brush and gradient tools. And in section 5 we look at Pixlr's blending tools, how to use the dodge, burn, smudge, pinch and bloat, sharpen, spot heal and red eye reduction tools to edit images. In section 6 it's special filters and effects and in section 7 are all the rest of the tools. Text tool, text styles, drawing shapes and lines, the color replacement tool, and how to remove a background from an image to make it transparent. And in section 8 there are projects to test your skills and see how much you've learnt. The images used in the video are available to download so you can reproduce the task that's demonstrated in the video. There are also worksheets that help you follow the video and several projects along the way to consolidate and practice the skills you have learnt. You can work your way through the course step by step or dip into a section as the need arises. It is designed for anyone who needs to edit images or photos. From the complete beginner to those who don't have access to more advanced photo editing tools and to anyone who just needs to make a few quick adjustments to an image. Look forward to seeing you in the course head on over to udemy.com and enroll now.